writing the confession of his occultic past as sweat dripping from his forehead Jacob Stockman reeling with guilt from his past on how he and his five friends wanted to celebrate a peculiar ceremony called the ceremony of the bat this ceremony involves summoning a demon to do their biddings and for such to happen they have to gain control of the demon which involves human sacrifice these men were diabolical they were involved in deep rooted black magic one of the most shocking parts is that thomas jefferson a very close friend of jacob stockman was also part of this nefarious cult the men summoned a demon called Barbatus and they wanted to have full control of this demon. They wanted power. Now to have full control of this demon, there has to be an initiation that leads to activities before the sacrifice. As I said before, that this man needs a sacrifice to control this demon to do their biddings. This sacrifice was no normal sacrifice. It was not your typical human being sacrifice. A human bat was needed for this sacrifice. For some time, Batman, aka Bruce Wayne, has this feeling that someone or something was watching him and he can't put his finger on it. It's not like someone was spying on him for he would have detected it in a second. This was different. It was incomplete comprehensible to fathom he was having a meeting with his friend and ally commissioner jim godden at the top of a tall building which was a usual place of meeting and it was about the riddler a criminal who uses riddles and anagrams as part of his oratorical grandiloquent act a mimic of a modern day Shakespearean villain with finesse. No one ever knows or understands what the Riddler wants. Even though he has a fantastic, brilliant, intelligent mind, he is also psychotic and a nutcase. The Riddler had been given the Gotham Police Department trouble for some time, and Commissioner Gordon wants batman's help in fact the riddler requested for the batman whom he referred to as the hangman batman realizes that there was someone else with them at the top of the building and commissioner gordon was sure no one followed him and in truth it was a woman whom had somehow managed to climb the building she looked dazed and her mind seemed drifted standing at the edge of the building top and talking in metaphors as the commissioner warned her to move away from the edge of the building but in all honesty she couldn't understand him looking at the batman she repeated the words she was uttering earlier generally my leaves ain't turned at night usually i am full of worms by day lots of worms but deadly quiet she leaped backward and fell off the building for it was too late for batman to grab her in which he used his slingshot to catch one of her legs as she crashed into a restaurant downstairs he was pleading for his life from his hung position he had a wife and two beautiful children he is the breadwinner of the family he is just an ordinary security officer working in the library but that was no concern of the Riddler. He was waiting for the Batman and praying he was smart enough to solve his metaphorical riddle. The other security officer whom had been beaten to a pulp was shot dead by the Riddler while waiting eagerly for the Batman. Now the woman whom fell at the top of the building didn't make it. She died as it was too late for the Batman to save her. As the Batman remembers every word she recited at the top of the building which was a message in in form of a riddle from the riddler which is generally my leaves ain't turned at night usually i am full of worms by day lots of worms but deadly quiet in which commissioner garden saw the riddle telling batman that the riddle was referring to the gotham library in which the batman pursued 
all the activities had come to fulfillment at this point and it was time for the ceremony of the bat as jacob's talk man was about to stab the human bat with the dagger in order to have full control of babatos the demon thomas jefferson who couldn't stomach the whole process objected to the killing of the girl who is a human bat she was drugged and she was comatose thomas jefferson believed that they had gone too far with their nefarious act. An argument erupted among these men. There were those for the ceremony to continue and others against it. But it doesn't matter for it was too late as they had already summoned Babatos, the demon, and without the sacrifice, he was uncontrollable. Suddenly, there was a hard knock, a shake, which indicates the arrival of Babatos, the demon. And in fear, Thomas Jefferson tried to open the entrance of the basement, but the demon was on the way and it all turned into madness as batman arrived at the library the riddler was impressed that he was smart enough to solve his riddle as the hung security officer pleaded to the batman not to do anything drastic for he was only stabilized by books and not in a safe position of balance and this was a dilemma for the batman due to the distancing between him and the hung security officer trying to figure out the Riddler's intentions and not taking any chances, he set for his boomerang as the Riddler purposefully no! threw a book at the books, stabilizing the hung security officer who lost his balance as the rope around his neck snapped his neck and he began to choke. Then the Batman quickly dived to save him, ignoring the Riddler who made for his escape. And the Batman gave the security officer CPR, mouth to mouth resistance. Citation. One thing the Batman can't figure out is that while he was saving the life of the security officer, the Riddler could have hurt him, but instead he retreated, which made no sense. The security officer was unlucky because the rope severed his spine and he is on life support at the moment. Now the Riddler had ordered his men to kidnap four babies who were less than a week old from the Gotham Hospital. But what was intriguing about this kidnap is that these babies were not from rich or well-to-do families. It was random and this worried Batman as he got another riddle from the Riddler which is I am a bank with no money. All different types. The Batman immediately understood that the location the Riddler is referring to was the biggest blood bank in Gotham. Batman was right as he tackled and beat the living daylights out of the two of Riddler's henchmen to whom to be honest showed a little resistance but batman was in no good mood and he was unmerciful as he bashed and smashed them to submission and asked them the whereabouts of the riddler who was inside the building holding one of the kidnapped babies and as batman appeared he threw the baby to the floor in which made the batman immediately dive to save the baby with a quick grab as he simultaneously used his slingshot to catch and strap the foot of an escaping Riddler but to Batman's surprise the baby in his hand was a dummy baby which was filled with blood it exploded all over his body to a point of blindness he was covered in human blood Batman in furious anger got into his Batmobile and chased after the Riddler not knowing the Riddler's intentions Batman nearly ran over one of the kidnapped babies that was left in the middle of the road by the Riddler and with the baby the Riddler left another riddle which was taken from Lord Byron's poem Parishna seek out less often south than around it's a soldier's grave for the best at first Bruce Wayne thought the Riddler was doing all this just to see how intelligent he is and moreover he still can't shake the feelings that someone or something is watching him with the help of his butler Alfred they were able to solve and decipher the riddle which pinpointed the location and the whereabouts of the Riddler which was the Gotham Military Cemetery. Bruce Wayne still wondered what the Riddler's objective is but more importantly he was worried about the kidnapped babies. As the Batman arrived the cemetery it was dark, misty, quiet and cold. There was no sign of the Riddler and his henchmen. Suddenly 
out of nowhere, the dead begin to rise from their graves like zombies. <laughs> <laughs>